Alright boys, we're back into boar. After our last video with our knife runs, we're back with another loot strategy, which is a lot better than running in aimlessly with a knife for a challenge. This time I'm going to show you my loot run when I bring absolutely nothing, just a backpack. You don't need anything else. This will work 80% of the time if you're lucky. You want to grab your backpack, head right in the missile silo, and I'll show you how to make an average of 30 to 50k in one raid, five minutes each, and it, it's really the simplest idea you've ever heard of, but a lot of players don't even think about it. All right, so as soon as you load into silo, you want to hope for the office or the elevator spawn, whichever one you get. These are two really good rooms that have plenty of loot that is easily worth about 30k every single time. And you just want to grab everything, every attachment you find, any loose loot. Sometimes you'll find some really good valuables out of this. And you just want to take everything. If you're lucky and you find a decent gun, you can kill the scavs right outside of office, and then you can take their stuff as well. And depending on what you find in the office or the elevator shaft, you might just want to immediately extract. Now in this first raid, I did spawn right in the office, but in the next one, I will spawn in a completely different place and i'll show you the exact same method how to make a minimum of 30 grand every single time and this isn't any complex strategy whatsoever you're basically taking in nothing so you're spending zero dollars for gear and you're avoiding pvp if possible you're just going straight for the loot which is a lot of people don't tend to do so if you need a quick way of money basically just do this route and avoid people that's that's really it it's simple oh nice keeping this still got a bunch more to loot in here some rope. <laughs> That's not gonna fit. Probably sells for jack shit anyways. So most of those big items sell for is nothing. He's just the recoil. You just kinda work your way up the weapon chain. Start from something small. You usually find a gun in that room. Whether it's a shitty 22 or a little SMG. Kill the scabs out here. And a player or two? What the fuck? And now look at that. Now you get a rifle and a vest. And a Makarov. And this is just the chain of life I'm looking at. I have a med shot in here somewhere. There we go. I don't know how that guy's. Oh my god. Jeez, dude. Oh my god, dude, this is the most player kills ever. What the hell is going on? Alright, so as I was saying, um, you start with <laughs> you start with the office, you work your way out. Um, get a couple of player kills maybe from your shitty loot that you start with. Uh here, this guy's backpack dropped. He was got a med shot. Perfect. And you let the other players do your looting for you as well. They loot every other part of the map. They rejoin right here in this particular spot for some reason. You kill all of them, you take their stuff. I think none of these guys had a backpack. It's unfortunate. But I'm probably just gonna extract because I got a solid amount of stuff here. Yep, alright. And now in that little five minute raid, we got three player kills, two Phoenix kills, and a solid haul. I wouldn't be surprised if this all sold for maybe 30k. And basically all these attachments, you know, especially suppressors, they'll go for 6k. Uh, okay, that's a really bad attachment, but most, you know, flashlight, little grip attachments, whatever. Could all go for a grand or two, and especially rifle suppressors are great. That's a 9,000 right there. Uh, some junk phone. I mean, just sell everything. Even the vest. 1,800. And there you go. That is how you make a five-minute profit. And then guess what you do? You get your backpack. The same one. Don't sell it. Pop it on your back. And you go back in. So this time we spawned in the tunnels, which is really close to the elevator. Uh, there's also a few other spawns that are really close to the elevator. Depending on which one you get, you might just want to book it straight there if you can before any scabs or players show up. Chances are you'll probably find a weapon along the way or in the elevator, you'll often find pistols. But uh, if, you, if you don't find a gun and you get stuck in that elevator, you're gonna have to try and talk your way out of it because there's, there's no other way out. But there is an extract directly above the elevator if you climb up and more often than not, you'll have that extract available and you can just immediately get out if you do find anything good. So it's easy. So uh, let's see if we can get a gun though. Oh, perfect. People will get here quick. Ah, I faked the death sound. Oh. 
No. Oh, oh no. Okay. See, this is why you need some luck because this is not lucky. So maybe uh, bringing like a, you know, a little pistol might be a good idea. Uh, or you can just book it. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll fucking book it. Oh, gosh. And then if you just find a locker, you'll be all set. There's always guns in here. Boom. Give me that. Please. Now we're chilling. See? No issue at all. Oh, someone's here. Who killed that guy? There he is. Look at that. See? You don't need a gun. I mean, you need one. You just don't need to bring one. You find one, and you kill geared guys like this. Take all their shit. Circle of life, baby. Oh, this dude has nothing, really. We'll take this, though. So, assuming he came from this way, uh, elevator shaft probably isn't looted. So if you spawn over here, you definitely want to rush to the elevator shaft. Now, other players might have the same idea. That's why you need to hurry. Make sure you're well protected. The doors are obviously very loud, so be ready. But uh, these drawers, okay, uh, well, nothing but, nothing but shit. Stuff like this, this is the stuff you're gonna be taking. So any little attachment, you can fit tons of these in your backpack and they will add up to thousands. The money stacks are all right, they're super thin, so you can just kind of fit them anywhere. I would take those as well, some it sucks. Be ready for people to be camping you. Because I would do the same thing. Now, depending on what you find in there, you might just want to extract immediately. But uh, I didn't really didn't find anything great, so we're gonna continue our search. Huh? What was he looking at? Which pistol I can take? Thank you. Hurts when I opened the doors a minute ago. Oh no, there's two of them. Yeah, around of ammo. I had to switch to my Shitterov. But regardless, we still got two player kills there and we brought nothing. Like, this is what I'm saying. Missile silo is great. And then we just got a quest done as well. So that's good. All right, so we're gonna try one more time. Again, you're only spending 440 each time. If you want to bring other stuff, you know, you can bring a pistol, bring a med shot, whatever. But if you want to make the absolute most profit possible, you really don't need them if you get lucky. Assuming you find a gun in here, like, oh, that's very nice, M4. Then you're all set. Now you got a rifle and a couple attachments up on the top shelf, maybe. Might as well smack that on there. Here we go. Instant PVE action. All right. Yeah, PP buys it. I'm actually, I'm gonna take this since it's got so much ammo. This will be our scav gun. This is our player gun. And same thing, just rush the elevator shaft. If you spawn on this side of the map. Here we go, suppressors. That's what we want. What is this? Oh, flash drive. Perfect. Those are valuable. Are those two more flash drives? No way. Three flash drives and one, one cabinet. Another flash drive. What the? That is insane. I just want to get out of here already. As long as you spawn where I just spawned, you should have this extract, and you can just instantly get out. Now, is it the most fun way to play the game? No. However, you get a bunch of money. So if you want to get money to, you know, buy stuff to have better PvP, then there you go. So you can see just from that one run, we're starting with 586,000. We're gonna sell everything, see how much profit we made. There you go, we went from 586 to 623, giving us about 37,000 uh, karunas in profit. So that is all you need to do. And those runs took, I think, five minutes each. Uh, I even got some PvP in some of them, but we spawn here. Get a grenade to start with. That's good. Let's quickly rush upstairs. Oh.
No! Short stack VR? I knew that guy. <laughs> Alright, well, he got killed by short stack. That's rough. The grenade didn't even damage him. It landed right at his feet. Oh my gosh. Well, I had two good runs there. That's gonna do it for this video. Uh, make sure to try this loot run for yourself. Unless you have the shittiest luck in the world, promise you this should work uh, at least 50% of the time, I'd say. Um, it's worked for me. Just in those few two raids, I think I made well over 60,000. So make sure to get in there, do your silo raids. Promise you, you'll be Jeff Bezos of Tabor in no time. All right, so thank you boys for watching. There's gonna be a lot more content coming out soon. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.